Hello all. In this video, we will see um, how to create collections uh, for Oracle Fusion Cloud environment to access uh, the REST APIs and also uh, to make it as a reusable uh, collection uh, for using uh, using the same collection for different environments or, or different projects. So basically here collection is a, a group of uh, end, rest endpoints where we can um, we can create and then we can uh, make it dynamic uh, with with the variables. So let's say uh, um, if we if we use some rest API, so usually we we hard code uh, or we hard code the URL, the uh, server URL, username, password, all at, at, uh, uh, in a single for every single request. So with the use of collection, so we will define that as a uh, variables and then we will just put it uh, at a collection level, top level, and we can reuse for all the uh, endpoints, the same credentials. And it will be secured also. So unnecessarily, we don't want to show the URL, uh, server URL or uh, username, password, etc. So it will be like this. So if I expand this, uh, if I get, uh, if I open this, so you can see a server URL here and then version, or if you want to make it some, some other uh, variables as dynamic, we can make it uh, with this kind of variables. And even authentication, it is inherited from the parent folder that is defined at the folder level or the collection level. So we will see all those steps, uh, how we can use this, uh, how we can, um, how it is helpful for uh, Oracle Fusion Cloud uh, REST API uh, testing. So first of all, if you have the uh, similar package, uh, so we can directly uh, use that. Uh, import option use import option and we can just reuse by changing the variables etc otherwise we can create a new uh, collection so i'm creating a new collection so choose a collection and uh, add a new collection so you can rename So I'm making it as a Oracle Fusion demo project. Okay. So this is my project. Uh, so this is at uh, a collection level. And um, so uh, for uh, variables, I'll define uh, variables here. So I can define these variables uh, at this level. So the, the common variables will be server URL, And then uh, username, then password, okay, then uh, version also we can include. So like this, uh, we will define these variables and then we will uh, give it the values uh, here. So the initial value will be the, uh, I mean, uh, if we are going to use reuse the same variable um, at some point, then we can um, update the value. Okay, so uh, otherwise we, it will take the initial value. The current value is uh, the, I mean, the latest value. So if you have a uh, initial value and the current value, it, it takes the current value only. It doesn't uh, consider initial value. So, so if uh, current value is not exist, then it takes initial value. Uh, so for now, uh, we don't need to uh, uh, keep 
and the initial value. So we'll use uh, uh, the current value. Okay. So first I'll take the server URL. And I'll keep it here uh, without slash. So this is my server URL. And then username, I'll use uh, sales admin. So this is my uh, username and password. And password will be uh, the uh, specific password for that env environment. Okay, and then version will be uh, latest. So uh, if we have a specific, if you go to the documentation, REST API documentation, we can see the version number here. So we can use a specific version number or uh, simply uh, we can use latest uh, to pick the latest version for this endpoint. Okay, so I have added uh, the latest. Okay, so then you need to save this changes and we need to provide authorization. So authorization here, uh, I'll use basic authentication. So now I can see username and password here. So in this case, I'm going to use the uh, variables that are already defined here. So now I don't need to enter uh, again the username and password. So it's, uh, I can reuse the variables. To use uh, to use these variables, you can just simply type or uh, and then uh, type uh, curly braces open, and then you can select the uh, um, variables. So you can see username variable here, and then same way password. So basically the uh, double curly braces uh, and then variable name and close uh, curly braces. Uh, that, that's how uh, you can use the variables. Now save. Okay, so authentication also we have provided at, at a uh, folder level or a collection level. So now uh, we can we can add uh, uh, folders again. Uh, we can add folders or we can also add requests. So request here is nothing but a specific REST endpoint. And a folder is uh, a group. Again, we can uh, define one more folder and we can add uh, the REST endpoints within that folder. So let's say in, in, in my case, I'll add one more folder and I'll re re uh, name it as accounts. So basically, uh, for grouping all account related REST APIs, so I'll, I can use this uh, folder. And now I'll add a request here. To add a request, you can go to more options and add request, or you can simply use this add request. Now here is the place uh, where we need to uh, use the URL. Uh, to use the uh, server URL, so first the uh, endpoint will be like this, server URL slash CRM REST API slash resources slash version slash account. So this is, how, this is the format. So to use the server URL, I'll again choose the variable and then slash the remaining path will be uh, so will be my uh, path crm rest api and slash uh, resources slash um, here i can use the uh, version
if you if you hover on it uh, you can see the values as well and accounts i'm passing it uh, because this is related to account i'm trying to get all the records for this request so make sure uh, you save uh, these changes so that it it reflects uh and even uh, after reopening uh, so this changes will get saved or even if you are trying to run a collection so saving uh, other changes is must now i'll come to uh, authorization and by default it is taking from inherit uh, authorization from parent And if you do any uh, changes uh, for uh, variable or variable values, you must save to reflect in the uh, requests. Okay, so now I'll click uh, send. Okay, uh, it is saying server is uh, um, unavailable. So this environment is currently not available. So what I did, uh, I, I changed the uh, different uh, environment and then I'm uh, sending the URL again. Okay. So now uh, this time it uh, it is able to retrieve the data. Okay. So this is how uh, we can just uh, use uh, the collection and folder and then uh, request now if i want to search for a, a, a single record um, so even i can rename this so this is get all uh, accounts okay so this is get all record now I'm duplicating this. And I'll rename it, uh, get one record, one account. Okay. And, uh, here, I need to pass the party number. So then um, slash party number. Okay. So now we are able to retrieve the single record. Similarly, uh, for creating uh, a new, uh, for creating a new record, so you can again duplicate the same request, and then you can change the method uh, from get to post, and then so authorization will be from parent, and you need to give the uh, body here. So uh, you can um, reference. Uh, these variables uh, so you will you will define the variables and then you will uh, um, I mean you can you can define the payload and then you can use it uh, use it for uh, post payload. So basically account name uh, and few other fields will be required for creating account. And uh, similarly for get request and uh, even for uh, uh, get 
all all the operations that will support uh, by this uh, and um, by this uh, environment okay so all of this now uh, the same thing if we want to uh, uh, if you want for another object we can duplicate this folder itself we can duplicate this folder and instead of uh, accounts i'll make it uh, for contacts and here i need to rename i need to rename these variables so in place of accounts i need to add contacts so that is the uh, uh, name for uh, contacts So we will rename here and also uh, the name. for post we can select post and then uh, we can say create contact okay uh, so this is how we can um, uh, we can create the folders And for all other objects, we can follow the similar pattern. Now, uh, so suppose, let's say this is uh, for a dev environment. Right, this is uh, for dev environment, dev one environment. Now we wanted to uh, use the same collection or same uh, uh, folder structure or endpoint for dev2 so two ways we can uh, reuse this uh, by uh, just going to the uh, project url and then change the variables okay and uh, or duplicate uh, this entire folder entire collection duplicate so now that's this, uh, I'll call it as uh, test. You can uh, replace, um, you can you can again give the uh, server URL for test environment, username for test environment, password, version, all those variables. Uh, so by default, it will be reset and you need to give the, uh, the, the, uh, different environment uh, to uh, URL and credentials, etc., cetera, uh, to reuse the same collection. So once you have all these endpoints, etc., so then uh, uh, um, it, it will be easy to uh, export this and uh, we can reuse this collection and we can share it to others uh, for using the same collection, etc. All those options we can use. Uh, so this basically helps us uh, to minimize uh, the effort uh, to test the APIs uh, uh, with existing uh, structure. So we don't need to uh, uh, redo all the uh, endpoints, etc. So it will be uh, we can maintain uh, these structure for uh, as a reusable uh, collection. So that is all uh, um, about uh, this video. Uh, thank you.